Hi, I'm Emma, fresh from London to follow the DHL NZ Lions series. My mighty Lions are taking on the best teams in New Zealand and we'll be roaring along in our very own painted Brits camper vans. If you see us, come say hi to the Vodafone Rugby Road Trip. As we made our way from Christchurch to Queenstown, we came across a random arrangement at Lake Tikapo. Enjoy the best bits from... Uh, Ray. Uh, Gary. Kieran. And Ray. It's like a terrible joke. Funny. Three <laughs> Irishmen and a Kiwi. Life on the road has its challenges, especially for the outnumbered Kiwi. There's constant Irish music. <laughs> it's just like, what do you, what do, you do to that? Like, so you've got four guys sleeping in here. Can you just talk me through the sleeping arrangement? The sleeping arrangement is Ray is up in the top bunk because he is the main man of the situation. I usually sleep down the back, but again, it just, just depends on what way we come in. And so first, the other two, first come, first served? First come, first served in the back bed, and then the other two have to bunk up together here. This, oh. this. The main priority right here. You say that's the main priority. I do agree slightly because it's got some lions association there with the Irish flag. I would say, looking at this camper van, that this is the main priority <laughs> and actually could do with a little bit more use. What are you making of New Zealand? Unbelievable. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Very nice. You couldn't picture it anywhere in the world. In the meantime, as a thank you, we have some t-shirts for you because it looks like, from the state of that camper van, that some clean clothes are required. <laughs> I had a homeless guy in the van and he disappeared with my bag, so I think it's the same t-shirt for three days now, so much appreciated. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. While we made our way to Queenstown, there's a poor Scotsman out there still looking for a ride to Dunedin. We were driving on the way and next time we just seen a man on the other side of the road and we said, right, we'll pick him up. And he happened to be a Scottish. And where was he going? Dunedin. Dunedin, I think it was. Dunedin. So where did you drop him? Because you haven't gone to Dunedin. I don't know, we just dropped him on the side of the road. <laughs>